Photon Hypernova is here, and let me tell you, you're going to get a kick out of watching my case opening when it goes up this weekend, because you want to talk about anxiety-inducing. You're going to feel the pain with me on that journey. Alright, to the 30% of you that have not smashed the ever-living crap out of that subscribe button, smash it so you guys don't miss out on more awesome content. So the gates are off. Photon Hypernova is here, and we're already down to 340, 330, 338 for the Mirror Jade Starlight. I, um, you know, not surprised to see. I can't believe somebody bought one of these at 500, but yeah, they're unloading at about 330 right now. We'll see how these go. Um, I'll cover this set later on in the weekend as we kind of see more of the damage and more of the fallout from this. You know, there's a YCS coming up, so we'll see what expectations people are doing. 370 on the Arise Heart Starlight. All right. Gold Pride Captain Carry Starlight is 209. I'm actually surprised to see that these are maintaining. Um, actually, only two have sold. All right, never mind. These are going to blow out quick. <laughs> You'll, that'll definitely be $100 Starlight. Oh, um, uh, Goggonal's at 220, and Bucephalus is already down to 150. Well, Robbie, Bucephalus is the best star. No, stop coping. If it's a better starlight, then why have only one sold? Like, that's, I, I ask you that question. It's just a drop off target for punishment. And, like, I, and there are better punishment targets out there. So, that's where you're sitting on your starlights. Um, wow. I really love the fact that, that, just gotta flood the listing with the Japanese. There's 106. Ray Sloth on the internet here. Man, these went down to 74 and then rebounded right back on up. Yeah, these are at 77 right now. $78 for the field spell. Looks like you did have a little bit of a cheaper spring there for 74 but those, those have shot up. Uh, the Cash Chirithosius, you're looking at twenty or $70 right now. So both of these doing their job. And then Thrust is at 69 giggity. Um, that's not bad. Uh, Rise Heart here, you're looking at, well, 25 bucks. That's not horrible. Those are pushing down. That's good. Uh, Cash Tira Rise Hearts, 16s. The Tier Elements Cash Tira, 15 bucks. Gold Pride Leon, it actually is $12. Oh, yeah. Big Welcome Labyrinth's crashed. Oof. Those are $20. Huh. Rin Brum is at 7 uh, the Gravekeeper's inscriptions are down to seven dollars. This is this is good. Honestly, if these hit the two dollar mark, I would I'd recommend just picking up a set of them because they look really nice. This set. Uh, Goggonals are at sevens. Weight Bridge is at six. Yeah, this set uh, set has three very good expensive cards, and everything else blows out. Oh, look at that! Captain Sargas is down to four bucks. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, excuse me. Regular Leons are three dollars. Oof. Oof, yeah, your uh, your market blows out very quickly. Surprisingly here, made to order made outfitter is uh, about a dollar for a super. It's the first time I've seen super out of a corset here. Besides, you know, our friends over at the uh, the aquarium, <coughs> aka the Magna Huts and friends. Yeah, buy steel ball drakes are 25 cents. Remember when people were worried that these weren't gonna be, you know, thing? My friend pulled 48 out of these out of a case. So it's not like they're a short print or anything, but you know. Uh, people will people will just be massively shocked. Look, your uh, targets to drop so you can draw cards off of Garuda. Looking pretty good. But yeah, that's the current status of this set. Am I surprised? No. No, I, I really am not. Everything Everything's within my realm of expectations right now. So how are, how's Tier doing right now? You know, it's everybody's kind of had their sad memorial services. Everybody's crying. The Rucoloses are down to $160 right now. Cool thing is, this is this is still one of the nicest looking starlights. If you want to pick up one to have, it's not going to cost you too, too much here. All Reno hearts are $52. Let's toggle on over here really quick on a on a sub OTS mission, shall we? What's going on over here? Uh, Cash Tier Fenrir's are $120 for Altis. That's disgusting. That might be the first $100 ulti in quite some time that's actually held. Yeah, you're looking at $120 right now for that. Yikes. Sprite Blues are 56 sixes, and, well, Reno Hearts are the cheapest. Who didn't see that coming? Merleys are $2. The Scare Clock Cash Tears are 2 bucks for the Hollow. Havness is a dollar. Yeah, they really blew out the Hollow value on this set. All the Super Rares in this set are, like, nothing. Woof. Uh, back to the remainder of your tier elements, though. Man, you know, 
the tier elements cash tier is like 15 bucks sure but like ultra arena hearts are down to six dollars now rucolos is three bucks um your value left in power is honestly I'm, I'm glad that it pushed down but like a little bit rough you can get a german dpe for 210 bucks 160 172 on these your power of the elements boxes are still 70 plus dollars nothing's really changed on that you know that's that's a big thing paralinos are down to 26 dollars and they just keep going Honestly, at this point in time, if you wanted to pick up Cash Tira, I would, excuse me, if you wanted to pick up Tier, um, whether or not, like, the deck is, like, pseudo-busted or, like, fair now, um, your price point is so much cheaper. Uh, Sprite Blue is, like, $35 for Sprite Blue. Have we really dipped down that much? Wow. $32. Yikes. Yeah. And curry cars are twenty dollars. Can't wait for people to get fully zone locked and they, they try to drop this and you're like, uh, you, you can't. Sorry. And there's gonna be a lot of screaming and a lot of upsetty spaghetti players. That's why the card's not super good. But you know what? Sprite elves are you know these are actually holding at like four bucks, surprisingly. I don't know if it's just copium from the player base, but Garuda's coming in about fourteen bucks. Yeah. And Sprite starters are still fours, so yeah. You know, like I said, your value has really been shaved off down here. But once again, that, that just births opportunities for players to kind of come on through here and decide if, you know, they want to pick up something. So, Blaster. Yeah, yeah. Blaster came back in Master Duel. Yeah, yeah. Um, I see that we had a recent spike up here. $7, $5, $6. So, um, a lot of mod plays on the market here. A lot of near mints on the market. You're at $10 right now. What is going on with Blaster? Well, Blaster just came back in Master Duel. Um, there's been a lot of spec or a lot of speculation that you know he could come back, but they moved him in Master Duel first. Duelist Pack Pyroxy, or excuse me, <laughs> I keep wanting to call it Duelist Pack Pyroxy, but the the Fire Duels Pack is coming out, and there is a rumored slot in there about Blaster coming back, which means what would be the April ban list? In the OCG, you would see the return of Blaster back to the game. So, heads up here, um, he just moved in one format. If the OCG moves him next TCG list, you're probably going to see Blaster move. And to be honest with you, the card isn't as broken as it seems. I know a lot of people look at Blaster and they're like, oh my god, this card's so busted. Um, it just discarded another fire and popped something. That's it. Like, Dark Hole and other things do that, but like better at the end of the day. So, all right. Next up is Silent Wobby. I can't believe I'm actually talking about this. I don't know why people love to see this card move, but like it's still holding two plus dollars. I, I don't know if this card just has like the copium of Mystic Mind coming back, but like this card still maintains a decent price point. I guess once again, it's only got one printing. I highly doubt we're going to see another printing of this, but. The market does weird things. Hornet Drone is also something I wanted to point out here. You know, for what this is, these are all a dollar now. Sky Striker is not in, in any sort of good position right now, but because of, you know, the way things are looking right now for players, you know, they're kind of taking note of this and like, hmm, you know, it's a little Sky Striker movements, I guess. Runic cards, oh, this is where things get bad. So tips are still $64, $66. Fountains kind of still going up a little bit. They're not too much. But here's the kicker. These tips still flowing about 30 plus. There are movements happening back here. People people are chomping this up. $35, 35 and 35. Yeah, players are picking these up. So, if you haven't picked up Brunic already or you're like, "Eh, I don't know if I want to." Yeah, there's there's movements. Even Hogan's kind of starting to resonate a little bit. You've got 22 listings. 20 listings and at least the tip just has a good chunk of listings too so heads up on that herald of the arc light oh yeah look at this up up and away here we go still three to four bucks but this is rotating on up very very quickly <laughs> oh man i love the market some days and uh, the last thing i want to show off was the metabo globster god 
Tribute this card for the Tribute Summon of a Dark Monster. You can Special Summon 3. I don't know who came through here the other day. This has been buying these up, but somebody thinks they know something. And it is quite hilarious to watch these go. But, yeah. Metabo Globster. Who would have guessed? So what do you guys think about today's market? Please, leave a comment down below too much you guys think. And I'll see your beautiful faces back here in day, guys. Peace out. Patrons. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.